Hi guys and welcome to another Decision Server Insights technical tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at uh, something that I found particularly interesting which is monitoring real-time events from a real source of data. What you're seeing in front of you here is a map of the Dallas-Fort Worth area with airplanes flying over it and those airplanes are being monitored in real time. So what we're doing is we're obtaining live data streams of the flight characteristics of various airplanes including their height, their altitude, their speed, their direction and most importantly their location and we are sending those in as individual events into DSI. Now I wanted to, to walk you through this, I want to walk you through this because it's, it's actually a real fun project if nothing else. So let's start at the beginning. First of all there is a USB device and its purpose in life is to receive television well, television signals and it's called a DVB-T Digital Video Broadcast Terrestrial and you can pick those up on eBay for about eight dollars okay great now for those in the US don't think you can use this because the format of US television is not this this is the format of television that I believe is used in uh, Europe and Asia however the value of this is that when one plugs one of these USB dongles into your PC you can use it as what's called a software defined radio. Now in English what that means is your PC can tune this receiver to any arbitrary frequency and start decoding the signals that arrive. Mm, that's interesting, okay. So now let's turn our attention to aeroplanes. Aeroplanes broadcast a sequence of binary data on a frequency known as 1090 megahertz. 1090 megahertz. Now the broadcast data on 1090 megahertz corresponds to a, a very interesting, very somewhat complicated data structure which contains within it concepts like the call sign of the aeroplane, the altitude, its ground speed, its latitude, its longitude and various other bits and pieces. So that, that's, that's kind of interesting. So following this through we plug in one of these USB dongles into our PC we then get an application that can decode that data and then we have a sequence of events. Now such an application is imaginatively called dump 1090, 1090 because it's 1090 megahertz. So what we're doing is we're dumping the uh, data that's being broadcast from the aeroplanes. Now the broadcast data from the aeroplanes is known as ADSB. I'm not quite sure what that stands for. We could Google it and look it up real quick. But the notion is that if one then runs the tool this dump 1090 application, <coughs> one then starts to get a graph or a chart or a table over time of aeroplanes and their position and their squawk frequency and their altitude and their speed and various other things. Now imagine you could take this data and pump it into DSI as a sequence of events. Now fortunately this dump 1090 application listens on a TCP IP port number and when you connect to that port number you get back records which correspond to the updates of this data. So as a new message is published by an aircraft it gets received by the USB uh, DVB-T receiver which is then decoded by dump 1090 which is then made available on a TCP IP socket for DSI. So how then do we get the data from dump 1090 into DSI? That's where Node Red comes into the picture. Now Node Red allows us to connect to a particular flow there is a node red node for decoding ADSB signals. We build the event message that we want to send into DSI. We turn that into an XML payload. 
we set some HTTP headers and then we publish it to DSI for consumption. So now again, following it through, Aeroplane broadcasts a message, DVB-T decoder decodes the message, Dump 1090 makes that data available on a TCP IP socket, Node Red listens on that socket and receives the stream of messages which are then published to DSI. That then leaves us with a DSI solution that we have to write and uh, here's one that we've built here which has a nice business model that represents uh, aer aircraft and the aircraft has a call sign, location, altitude, ground speed, heading etc. And then we have the different ADSB messages that can arrive and we update the entity which corresponds to our aircraft. We now have a set of entities running or, or held by DSI, all of which have a location. And then finally, we can bring up the Insight Map Viewer. And now what we see are those entities plotted in real time on a map. And we get to see the flight details of those aeroplanes on a map. And they update in real time. All right, now it sounds like a lot of stuff, but the key parts needed to make this work are one of these DVB decoders. And as I say, they're about 10 bucks. And the rest I'm going to give you as uh, downloads from a link that you'll find on this YouTube video. So you go to the bottom of this YouTube video, you go to the commentary about it, you'll find a link where you can download a zip file and in that zip file will be the DSI uh, project that you can bring in to DSI uh, 8801 or better plus the node red configuration file uh, that will be all you'll need to run under the node red environment and that's all the software you need. Obviously, you need this piece of hardware. Oh, and you will also need Dump 1090. So I'll put in a link to Dump 1090 as well. But I hope you found this uh, this interesting. It shows real-time data coming into DSI. And the rules that you can do with this DSI, <coughs> well, that's really up to your own imagination. Um, for example, I live in the Fort Worth area of Texas. And uh, one of the things I could do would be to have a rule which is looking for aircraft flying, for example, over my house. So I could set up some geofencing. And when an aircraft enters my geographic area by flying over my house that could emit an action or that could perform an action. So that might be a, a fun little topic to, to, to look at. Uh, other things we, we might want to try for some proximity warnings. Now hopefully none of them will ever fire but uh, uh, we could try for some proximity warnings. So if two aircraft were heading towards each other or within the same geographic airspace we could perform an action. Or if we really wanted to be sophisticated we could extrapolate the direction and look for an intersection, but that's uh, that's a bit of rocket science to me. All right, I hope you found this useful. I uh, look forward to uh, making more DSI technical videos in the future. Thanks now. Bye-bye.